So we finished last week by looking at comparing and ordering fractions and looking at equivalent fractions. This strange idea that the same fraction can be written in different ways. We're really going to deepen in that today. That's the kind of the main focus today, finding other equivalent fractions. Now I know for some children this will be the first time you've ever done this and for others you might have done it in year three and in year four and now. So again we're going to try and build the, the images so it will build understanding for everyone and then have a think there's lots of little opportunities where you can really deepen your thinking if this is something that you've done before. Um, so really looking forward to today I think you're going to find it really useful and really deepen from where we got to on Friday. Well, as ever, it's been absolutely wonderful getting all the different examples of work sent through. I always love seeing children working hard, the different drawings to build understanding. And this was one from early in the week, which I really liked. We talked about when do we need fractions and we were looking at dividing toys. And I love this little one here. And we realized here that we don't we can't use fractions here because I don't want to have to chop up my toys with a chainsaw. But I love that. And again, thank you for every email through of your fabulous work. Um, now on Friday we were looking at equivalent fractions, fractions that are the same but written in different ways. So we had a look at this example. Uh, Cam says that six eighths of this shape are blue because six out of eight circles are blue. And Jack said three quarters is blue because three out of four rectangles are blue. Um, and we said actually we agree with both of them because six eighths and three quarters is actually equivalent. It's the same. Uh, and then we had a look at this example and we were looking at the difference between the part and the whole. Three quarters, there I've got three pieces that are shaded in orange, of four in total, uh, four parts, equal parts overall. And so that's three quarters. But how many eighths would it be? Well, actually, what I would need to do is take that, that part and that whole and cut it up differently, basically, to see how many eighths it was. I need to split it into eight pieces. Um, so I now have double the number of pieces. Um, so three quarters equals, well, it's six eighths. And they're the same. They're, those two fractions are equivalent. Um, then we had a look at these number lines. So we have these number lines from zero to one in tenths here. And we saw that half is five tenths because five is halfway. When our number line is cut into eight pieces, we saw that four is half and they're the same. So the same distance along. And then we had a look at this one in fifths and we couldn't find any halves there. So two things. The first thing is, can you find any other or think of any other fractions that are a half? And the second thing is, why wasn't there a half on that bottom number line? Uh, pause the video on those two, uh, those two questions. And then when you're ready, let's have a look. Um, well, here I've got some fractions that are half. 3 6 is a half, 7 14 is a half, and 36 out of 72 is a half. Now, how do I know? Because if my line was split into six pieces, well, 3 would be halfway to 6. 7 is half of 14. 36 is half of 72. So all these fractions are actually the same. They're equivalent. Now, what about we, fifths? We don't have a half in fifths. Now, of course, it's because five is an odd number. And to have halfway along here, it would actually need to be two and a half. But we never have two and a half fifths. But we never have decimals in fractions uh, or fractions in fractions, if you like, on the top. So actually, when it's in fifths, there isn't a fraction that is halfway. Same when it's in thirds, any odd number. We won't have a friction where, where the denominator is an odd number. We won't have a fraction that is equivalent to half. And then we looked at this example here and we said, which one's larger? And we actually saw that five eighths is larger than nine twentieths, even though they're the bigger numbers. And of course, it's because, well, let's think about them in comparison to half. Four eighths is half. So five eighths is more than half. And nine twentieths is less than half. Um, so five eighths must be more than nine twentieths. Now, today is called same part, same whole. We're looking at other equivalent fractions. And specifically, we'll look at examples where we have, if we've got a part that's the same and it's the whole that's the same, but they're cut up in different ways, um, those fractions will be equivalent. That will make sense, I think, when we have a look at these pictures. So to start off with, have a look at this. So I've got I've got this, uh, this rectangle here and it's cut into these two parts. Um, and what I want you to do now is just pause the video and have a think. What fraction do you think is blue about and about what fraction is green? You won't be able to work it out exactly, but see if you can have a bit of a guess. Pause the video there. Okay, and uh, let's have a look. 
I'm going to draw a line on that will help me to see. And actually, can you see that? It was. You couldn't have been able to tell exactly, but it's actually a third that's blue and two thirds that's green. And it's clear enough. I've put this line in so I can see those three equal pieces. Um, now, have a look at how the, the amount of blue and the amount of green stays the same. The shape stays the same. But if I just cut that up differently, I could describe that same part as two parts out of a whole of six. And so a third and two sixths are equivalent. And just in the same way, how much is green? Well, now it's four sixths. It was two thirds and now it's four sixths, but it's still the same amount that's green. Now, if I cut it up more, I could cut it up like that. And what about now? I could describe this as four twelfths. And of course, four twelfths is, is equivalent to a third and two sixths. And it could be how much green? Eight twelfths that's green. Now, have a look at this pattern, one in three, and then two in six. So how many twos go into six? It's three. And four to 12, how many fours in 12? It is three as well. Now, have a look at these four shapes here. Can you come up with a reason why each shape could be the odd one out? And can you think about which fraction is the odd one out? So why can each shape be the odd one out? But actually, only one of the fractions is the odd one out. Pause the video. See if you can work out which one. OK, let's have a look. Now, there's reasons why each could be the odd one out. So this one, the, the bar isn't the top bar that's, that's yellow. So that could be the odd one out. Here, I've got, I've got these th one, two, three uh, rows here. So perhaps this one. Uh, this one is the different shape. It's longer than the others. So maybe this is the odd one out. And of course, this is cut into more, more pieces here. Um, so, so that we've also, as well as being in columns, we've got these, uh, as well as in rows, we've got these columns here as well. Um, now let's have a think about the fractions. Well, the top left one there is a quarter, because it's one in four pieces. The top right one is a third, because it's one in three pieces. The bottom left one is a quarter, it's still one in four pieces. The difference here, of course, is this shape is bigger, but the part is also bigger, so it's still a quarter. And what about this one on the bottom right? Well, I could describe that as five parts that are yellow out of 20 parts in total. But if you just look here at the rows, it is also still one row out of four rows in total. So these three fractions are a quarter and this is the odd one out because it's actually a third. Now, have a look here. I wonder if you can find any equivalent fractions here. So some of these fractions are equivalent. See which ones you can find. Pause the video. Okay, and let's have a look. Well, there's some that I can see that are half. There are the halves. We've got a half, five is half of 10, three is half of six. And what about the fractions that are left? I'm gonna put some pictures there so we can see them. There. And can we see that the ones that are the same here are three quarters and six eighths are the same. It's just that I've put this line in here to cut this same, um, this same part in the same hole into more pieces here. And um, so I've got still got one, two, three, four columns and three of them are yellow just like this one and two thirds is not the same so three quarters and six eighths are the ones that are equivalent okay and now have a look at these fractions here and see if you can order them from smallest to largest it might be you can just look at them and think i think this one is the largest or that one is the smallest but if you can also see if you can put them in order from smallest to largest OK, shall we have a look? Um, well, I actually started here with the largest one and I knew it was three fifths. And the reason I knew that three fifths is the largest is it's the only one that's more than half because three is less than half of eight. One is less than half of four and one is less than half of five. But three is more than half of five. So I know that's the most. Now I look at the other fractions. and Actually, I know the smallest one is a fifth. I know a fifth is smaller than a quarter because it's one split into five pieces. Now, in a moment, I'll go into why I know that a fifth is also smaller than three eighths. Let's compare, though, a quarter and three eighths. Well, actually, I know that a quarter is the same as two eighths. If I broke down those four pieces and I split each piece in half, I would then have two eighths. So a quarter must be less uh, than three eighths. So it must go a fifth, then a quarter, then three eighths, which is less than half, and then the largest one, three fifths. 
So for today's task, click on that blue link underneath the video. Uh, we've got a task A and a task B like normal. Um, so the question A again, which line will be longer? Is it the first line or is it the second line? Some equivalent fractions to match there and then order from smallest to largest. You can show, you can do a drawing. It might be you draw boxes, number lines, it's up to you. Uh, task B is a similar format. The, the question there can be answered in different ways. Answers are at the bottom. I'm going to see you back tomorrow. Great having you joining in.